Good day. Today I want to give you the Armageddon timeline as I understand it. Now I'm only human and don't know everything so if you have anything to add to it please just add it in the comment section below the video. Um, now as you all probably already know is the biblical Armageddon cannot occur <coughs> Till after the third temple is built and until the time that the Antichrist desecrates the temple. Anything that happens before that time is only in preparation of the end times, setting up the leaders where they must be in order to fulfill their roles and so on. Now this is how I understand the Armageddon timeline and as I said if you have any comments on it please be free and add it below the video. Okay, From 70 AD till Solomon's temple is rebuilt conditions are prepared for the beast to rise to power. This you can find in Matthew 24 verse 4 to verse 8. The temple is rebuilt, the beast and Israel comes to a seven year agreement. This is Daniel 9 verse 27. Three and a half years into the agreement, the beast will go back on his deal with Israel and place the abomination that causes desolation within the temple. This will be followed by a war. This you can find in Daniel 9 verse 7 and Matthew 24 verses 15 to verse 21. 1260 days or 42 months after the object of abomination that causes desolation is placed within the temple, the war against the Jewish people will be won and most of the Jewish population will be wiped out. <coughs> this you can find in Matthew 24 verse 22, Daniel 9 verses 7 and Revelations 11 verses 2. This will be followed by the wrath of God and the war against the Lamb which will defeat the Antichrist and all of his allies. This will last for 75 days. You can find this in Revelation 16 verses 5 to 7 and Daniel 9 verses 11. The next video I would like to upload is speculation on where the Antichrist comes from. The Bible actually tells us we just need to do some historical research and who the base candidates are for Mystery Babylon. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for listening.